Hey everybody, so welcome back. All right, so it's that time of year again. Everybody's getting ready to ride. You know, as I'm going through my own sled, I figure I would post essentially what I do every year before I hit the trails because nobody wants to be that guy who uh, essentially, you know, that person that's in your riding group that never did any maintenance on their sled or basic checkups. And then you're out for the first year, you know, first big trip of the year. And it seen, never seems to fail. There's always that one guy who's always broken down on the side of the trail looking for help. And a lot of this stuff is so basic. It can be checked while you're in the garage or in a trailer or whatever. It really takes 10 or 15 minutes to do. But doing this simple stuff will really um, alleviate a lot of headaches out on the trail. You know, I'll just use one example. Um, there's a person I'm subscribed to uh, on YouTube. I'm going to use him as an example. Um, Pasty Boy, he's up in New York and uh, he has a brand new, well, brand new last year, a uh, Blizzard 600, I believe. It was either a 6 or an 8. He put 400 miles on it and he went out for a first ride this year, right before Christmas. And it turned out the sled had no cooling in it. And as soon as he uh, took it off the trailer, it was overheating. And I don't know what they were thinking but they continued to ride it and it basically overheated up to 220 230 degrees had to shut it down and then they're out on the trail looking for cooling and everything else but again that's just a perfect example even even with brand new machines you can have issues so so with that being said i'm going to show, essentially uh show you a lot of the key points that you can check before you hit the trail and make sure you that you're pretty much ready to go all right so that being said let's do this Right, first and foremost, if there was any, you know, if you rode last year, you didn't drain the tank or you didn't stabilize it, you know, get that gas out of that tank because more likely that gas is going to be stale. Get rid of it. It's, it's not going to be any good. You know, just get a siphon tool and, and purge the tank, you know, up with the controls. Make sure all your, your, you know, the kill switch is working. You know, make sure, you know, the, the high low for the high beam is working. Your hand controls are working, you know. Basic stuff. Make sure your your brake is working and the parking brake is working. Make sure reverse works, right? Make sure that the choke is working, right? It engages like it's supposed to. You know, pull the coil. Make sure it comes out, right? You know, and then open up the hood. Uh, take a look at the recoil as it's coming out. Make sure that there's no frayed ends. You know, I was riding last year and um, on her last ride, I actually noticed that the recoil rope was about to fray and we went to a, a, a dealer and got a new rope and we replaced it. You know, while you're under the hood, you know, make sure, you know, obviously check for injection oil, make sure that the, there's oil in the tank. Check the coolant level, right? So right now, according to this, this is my cold line for, uh, in the coolant. I'm right where I'm supposed to be, but you know, check for, for the presence of coolant in the sled. Make sure you don't have a leak somewhere. You know, check all the hoses that are coming out of the cooling system. Make sure that there's no leaks. You know, go ahead and clean the exhaust valves, right? That, that takes probably about like a half hour to do. It's relatively straightforward. You know, check for the presence of all the exhaust springs on the Y pipe and the, and the exhaust pipe. Make sure they're all there. They haven't disappeared. And the same thing goes for the uh, the can in the other end of the, uh, of the pipe. Make sure all those springs are, are there and they're in good shape and, and none of them are gone. The last thing you want to, you want to run to, into is you're out, you're out on the trail and, and you, you lost a spring and you have a huge massive exhaust leak out, of, out there, right? Check your wiring, make sure you have no big frays or burn spots, right? Again, all this stuff is really easy to check, but if you don't check it, it's gonna, it can lead into a major headache out on the trail. And this goes for any sled, not just Polaris, Skidoo, or Yamaha. You know, they all essentially, they're all machines, right? They all essentially function with the same system. So this pretty much applies to any snowmobile. Right? Check your chain case fluid, right? Make sure that there's fluid in there and, and uh, it's not bone dry. Take a look at that, right? Start the sled up. Make sure your lights are working. Make sure you got the running light and the brake lights are working. You know, make sure that those are good, right? You know, 
Check that your key switch is working. It's snapping back. You can pull the key in and out. It's not, 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 it's not hanging up. Make sure the sled stops actually when you, when you turn the key off, right? Going on the clutches. I, I, I'm going to post a video on how to clean the clutches and, and everything else, you know. Check your belt deflection. Clean your primary, you know. Make sure that the secondary is floating on the, on the jack shaft. It's not hung up. You know, put a new set of plugs in it. You know, put invest in the six bucks for a new set of plugs if you haven't changed them in a while. While you're under here, you know, take a look at the intake carb boots. Make sure they're not cracked or frayed and, and they're they're in looking in pretty good shape. Just uh, feel it around with with your finger. And if there's any cracks or any splitting on it, you'll feel it with your fingers more so than anything else. You know. Take the carbs off. If you if you didn't drain the gas and stabilize them, clean the carbs, take them off, and uh, get them serviced. Right? What else? You know, if it's an older sled or even if it's a newer sled, you know, take a look at the track. Right? Make sure you had no tear throughs, no missing lugs. You know, or, or frayed windows or track clips or anything like that. Go on the suspension. Do a full nut and bolt check on every um, fastener on there. Make sure you're good, nothing's backing out, right? Grease everything up, you know, check your, uh, the bogies, the, the, I'm sorry, the, the bearings on all the bogies, make sure they're all spinning in there. They're not noise or anything like that. You know, again, all this stuff is real easy to check. You know, you may find out there may be a couple things going on and now's the time to check it while you have access to everything. What you know, you have access to tools and and friends who can help you out. The last thing you want to do is be 30 miles into the woods and you're you're running into an issue that could have been easily remedied at, at your house before you even hit the trail. Right? So again, this is kind of like a lot of the basic stuff that I do before, you know, the first big ride, you know, of the year. Because let's face it, guys, um, at the end of the year, at the end of the season, we're all pretty much, we're done with snowmobiling. And then we're, we're looking into the spring and everything else. And essentially, the majority of us just put these things in the garage and we don't look out for six to seven months. And then we just expect mir miracles uh, when we go to start them. So essentially, that's it. I figure I would just post this. Uh, a lot of this is just common sense and basic steps that anybody can do. So, um, it's been eight, been, been about eight minutes. I've been kind of rambling on, but I think it is uh, worthwhile to, to talk about it. So if you like your video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you like what you saw, go ahead and subscri subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you part of my community. Uh, if there's any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and leave them in the comments box. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day. Talk to you later. See ya.